Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and I'm coming <clears throat> at you after a long overdue video. Um, I am going to continue with the Halloween card series. I just got really, really sick, and it actually put me back for about two weeks, so it's been really crazy, and I'm still not 100%, but I'm definitely a lot better, and Nick's been sick, and he and I have just kind of been passing it back and forth, so... Anyways, I am here today with four different fingers, painted fingers. <laughs> this is the new, let's see if it'll focus. This is the new um, OPI collection, the 007, to commemorate 50 years of James Bond. So this is Goldfinger. This is You Only Live Twice. I think this is Tomorrow Never Dies, and I'm not sure what this one is. But yeah, so ignore that. <laughs> Um, I have a collective haul. I have stuff from local scrap store, uh, two peas, Stampin' Up, and then in another video I will do, I got a cat scrappiness order and a Simon Says Stamp order and a Sassafras. I bought one of their mixed boxes, so... Let's go ahead and get started. This is the, I got this from my local scrap store. This is the 6x6 Doodlebug in the North Pole. And this is their Christmas line. And this is really cute because it mimics um, the Haunted Manor. You'll see some similarities like the word Fetty and the Chevron and the little snowmen, which are kind of like the... Um, the ghouls that they had in the other one. Really cute paper. Double sided. Just really, really cutesy. Good for cards. Love the chevron. And the little, I don't know if you can see the little red birds. And I know that I'm usually in front of the camera when I do these hauls, but when I was doing the cards like this with a camera that can actually focus, I got a lot of great feedback. So I may be doing some of these from now on. This is the Tricks and Treats pad from Pebbles when I saw Kate um, show this and say she got it for $2.99. I had to run to two piece to get it and $2.99 it was so this is one of the things I was waiting for um to finish out the card series love houndstooth great candy cool spider webs so I was waiting for that this is the um walnut grove paper pad from pebbles Really, those are all the papers that are in it. Really, really cute. And I'm not sure. This one doesn't have it, but. Up at the top of these, uh, the strip that you cut off actually has a pattern on it. So it's actually very cute. Love that green polka dot. And these are single sided. Great wood grain. Okay, and then I got the um, Ready, Set, Go from Amy Tangerine. And I'm not going to show this because a lot of people have shown what that looks like. Um, I did pick up the uh, Christmas This and That by Lori Whitlock for Echo Park. And really, really cute. Lots of great images for Christmas. There's a really cool pattern on that. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up. This is really cool. It's a wood grain with like just kind of icons on it. And this is cute. I don't know if you can read this. Santa's Ledger. <laughs> really cute. Just go this way. Some, and you know, just some basic Christmas paper. I love the vintage 
ornaments. Love it. And then I picked up The Good Life from uh, Fancy Pants. And it just has some neutral patterns. Okay. Um, another paper pad I picked up was the long-awaited Witch Hazel. And those are the papers that are in the collection. And I just, I love this. I love vintage Halloween. This is super cool. And I debated on getting the stamp. It's the musical notes, but the, the lines are all squiggly. There's a bunch of, like, goo marks. And the pumpkins are cool. And then this is really neat with the moon. You can see the face on the moon. So, and I picked this up at my local scrap store, but I ordered a lot of it from Kat as well. I plan on giving a set to um, my best friend who also is really into. This is actually, I took a picture of it. This is a backdrop on my phone. Um, which is charging. <laughs> so and then I love this this like ghoulish green with the black polka dot so I picked the 8x8 up I also picked up the miscellany the tidbits the doodads The buttons that go with the collection. The tin pins. The brads. And I mean, some of these brads are like really cute. The little flyers. Um, I did pick up the washi tape. I thought that was so cute. And then it says, Happy Halloween. And then watch out for ghouls and goblins. Really, really cute. Um, and I did pick up these stamps. I just thought, like, the little Campbell Soup Girl is so cute. And like the little girl pumpkin. How cute is that? That little tiny, look at that little cat. So cute. Um, I also, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Okay. Just because it's not focusing like I want. And I picked up the sprinklers. Ah, oh, much better. And Midnight. Um, this one's in Jack-O-Lantern and Witch's Brew. And I also picked up the Chip and Stick. These are got some really cute pictures on them. Got those. Okay. Um... Also, Halloween-y, I picked up, these are Martha Stewart paper tapes, and they're very, they have very, um, a very vintage feel. Um, and I picked these up, I think, from Michael's, but I just thought that they were really, really cute. Okay, also from the Witch Hazel, I picked up the Ghoul Green Sticky Keys. Love, love those. I got a few of those. And then I picked up the Pumpkin Mini Market. And you're probably like, Alex, why do you have about five pages of those? And not only are they just, like, amazing for Halloween, but I'm also a San Francisco Giants fan. Uh, baseball. And um, their colors are black and orange. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that they win their playoff game tomorrow. So, um, got those. And then I also picked up the... Uh, word stickers 
best costume ever. And I have a lot. Halloween was a big holiday for my family growing up. Um, so I have tons of pictures. We always went as a theme. So I've got tons of pictures to scrap. Then I picked up these Doodlebug jewels. And these go with the haunted... I almost said haunted mansion. <laughs> haunted... Is it haunted manor? Yeah, I think it's the haunted manor. Okay, I'm not sure if I showed this in a haul. I might have. I got this Hero Arts cling stamp. And I also got this cling stamp. I have a feeling I've already showed those, but... Um, at Joanne's, I picked up a couple dollar stamps. And I thought this guy was so cute. Hey, Pilgrim. The only thing with these dollar stamps is that I bought a really cute one for Halloween. It was like a little Dracula. And he didn't stamp worth a crap. And I know they're acrylic and you gotta like sand them. But like, do you use sandpaper? Like, what do you do? Because they're really, really cute. Um, and just some festive leaves. Um, and then I got this, um, Dia de los Muertos. Did you like my little Spanish flair right there? Um, my Dia de los Muertos sugar skull. Thought that was really cute. And this other little pilgrim girl, or Indian girl. She says, give thanks with her corn. Thought that was really cute. Um, okay, so, from... I kind of separated some of the stuff because I wanted it like stamps and blah, blah. So I'll go back with stamps. I got this at TP's. It's Elle's Studio, the number stamps. And I thought that they were really cool. One through ten and a zero and an amber sand. I picked these up from Beverly's. These are Maya Road called I Chart Sentiments. And just really cute. Happy birthday. And it just reads that all the way. It probably won't focus down to there and it says thanks another happy 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 day I love you thinking of you and then there's a blank one and then it has like love you hi I love you all those cute things this is also from my road this is the love banner and it's got cute banners and pennants and a really cute circle with a heart and some really cute letters um, okay, I picked this up from two peas because I've been wanting this and I finally got a notification. Um, this is the Hero Art Studio Calico Project Life exclusive to two peas Studio Calico stamp set by Hero Arts. <laughs> Long enough name. Um, so yeah, so I thought this was really, really cute. Good for Project Life and cards. All that good stuff. And it finally is in my hands. Um, pick up this really cool wood grain. It's from Hero Arts. It is called Designer Wood Grain. And I have a feeling that I have this already. That's the problem with not having a scrap room just yet. Is that on some things like this that have been out for a while. I might have a duplicate if that's the case. Giveaway. Speaking of giveaway. I have. I am four people away from 500 subscribers. Like, how did that even happen? I think all my new subscribers, I think everybody who has been subscribed to me since day one, all the way to today, um, you guys keep me going. The friendships I've made on here are absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, awesome, thank you. And I am short of breath because I still cannot breathe completely out of my nose. <laughs> um, I know you're not hallucinating. This is a repeat. I had, I did purchase another one, but I'm not sure if it's just me. I love two peas in a bucket, but their shipping is super slow. Like I have another order that I placed with two peas and I just got it. I just got it on Friday and I placed it like two weeks ago. Anyways, so I had purchased this and then I was at my scrap store. Totally forgot that I bought it from two peas and purchased it there. So this will be going in the giveaway. There. <laughs> I also picked up this stet, this stet, oh my, this set of uh, stamps 
There it is right there. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Keep calm and snap on. Oh, snap. Really, really cute. Um, okay. So, I picked up some... I started getting stuff ready for Christmas. And I got this Hero Arts stamp set. It is a 2012 release. And it's called Snow Much Joy. Wishing you a bright and sparkling holiday season. All that great stuff. And this little guy, so cute. And what's great about him is that he comes with a frame cut. So um, I can frame cut him and then I will stamp him. And I just ordered, he has like a little brother. He has a brother that's like a sleeping snowman, but it's the same thing. It's a wood block stamp, but it fits the frame cut die. So I'm excited to use those for Christmas. Um, I also picked up this Klings stamp because it is the best of all worlds. This is a 2011 release. Um, it's called Snowflakes and Edges. And you can see um, it's absolute amazingness. It's a chevron, obviously. And there's snowflakes in the background. Probably a really cool background piece. Um, just to maybe stamp in some Versamark. You know, um, I also picked up the pink paisley portfolio stamps, which we've all seen, called clear stamps. All right, super creative. <laughs> um, and I'm kind of getting into the dies. I was never really into dies when people were all the rage about the nestabilities. I was like, I just don't get it. But now that I'm watching more and more videos that are utilizing them, I'm totally on the hunt. But I picked up these Impression Obsession dies, and these are called Die 030S. <laughs> um, and they're just these really, really pretty fall leaves. Um, but what's really nice is that the die actually has the ridges. So when you put it through your machine, it'll cut the leaf and it will also emboss, which I thought was super cool. I also finally got my hands on the uh, Amy Tangerine Roller Date Stamp, the blue one. Um, ladies and germs, I just want to announce that they are coming out with a Christmas one. Be on the lookout for that. Um, I picked up the washi tape for the Midway collection. Love this. You and me. So happy. Smile. True story. Just really, really cute. And from the Midway, I picked up the uh, Twilight Sprinkler and the Pink Balloon. I didn't get the pink one from the uh, Cakewalk, so I'm happy to get this pink one. Um, but from Cakewalk, I did get the crepe paper, the yellow. Okay. From Michaels, I finally found the washi tape. Um, I finally found Michaels paper tape. So I picked up these two in these really bright neon. Let's see if I can... Oh, what is on my finger? I'm telling you, it's... The weather is changing. It's going from like 80 degrees to like 50. It's messing with my skin. Okay. So these are really cool. They're neon. Blues, greens, pinks, and oranges. Gotta love those. Um, also, from the portfolio collection, I picked up the photo tabs. Here's what they all say. Haven't used them yet. Kate has, and she likes, which is a good sign. Um, I picked up the hexagon wood veneers, um, self-explanatory. Um, so I decided to jump on the L Studio bandwagon. You saw that stamp earlier. Um, I saw this stamp or something similar to it on Me Love Bono. Um, I love her. Vicky, you are hilarious. You cracked me up. <laughs> um, and I saw your L Studio stamp, and so I thought I would buy this. I'm not sure if you have this one or another one, but... And it just comes like that. 
And I also picked up some of these, the Sweet Life tidbits. Just really, really cute. Really, really small. Let's see if uh, my cyber shot will help me here. So you kind of get the idea of what's in there. Um, and also, I really do like L Studio. I like the fact that you can cut them out yourself. Um, cuts down on cost. I think these were all like 60 cents or something like that. This is the Sweet Life Lil Lil. So cute. The Sweet Life. Let's see if it focuses. The Sweet Life Lil Snippets labels. So cute. And really good Project Life material. These are little snippets, the tiny notes. These are True Love pennants. The sweetest thing, um, these are the Honey One of a Kind label stickers. These are the Bluebell Playful label stickers. And these are the Tangerine Happy label stickers. And last but not least from L Studio, I got the um, the Sweet Life cutouts. And they just have some. We are oh so sweet together. That's really cute. Life is good. Hello there. Um, so that is that. A little gripe with two peas again. So I purchased this Studio Calico little journal kit online they had this next to all the stamps when they had the image of it online it was the wood grade image but it was like the negative so it looked like it was a wood grain stamp and I thought oh my god it's three by four it's a perfect wood grain stamp it's not a stamp it's a journal kit not sure what I'm gonna do with it it's okay it's cute um, I'm just not into making anything like that small <laughs> Um, doodle twine to go with that uh, Christmas collection that I show in the beginning so cute and last but not least the rest of my stamping up order that I placed forever and a year ago this is that heat and stick powder that he used in one of those cards some dimensionals I picked up one pad in old olive because I just thought it's a really good Christmas color. Um, this Sizzix, uh, the, the textured and embossing. I want to do some faux letterpress. And then last but not least, I have been seeing Mercy Tear use this little thing for I don't know how long. And I have gone back and forth with do I or don't I? And I finally bit the bullet. I got the, let's see if it can even focus on it. Sizzix Embosslets Fashionable Hearts. Does it even say that? Okay, cool. And they are these little suckers. So you run them through and they will cut out and emboss a hound's tooth, an inset heart, heart with lines, heart with dots, and another outset heart. How adorable is that? And how easy can you make little add-ons for like Project Life? So I bit the bullet and I paid for it. Can't believe it, but I did. All right, kiddos, that is all. Um, I will come back when all my orders are finally in. Um, in a couple days with an order from Cat Scrappiness, another order from Two Peas, hopefully if it gets here. And, or actually, I'm sorry, I came here on Friday. So it is here. And a Simon Says Stamp order. And 
I ordered something from Hero Arts, but that won't make any sense to you until you see what I got from Simon Says Stamp. <laughs> so anyways, take care, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.